let's go ahead and kick it off. So hello, welcome to the Horizon Insider uh, number 21. This is December 26 and happy Thursday. And just as a reminder, this call is recorded and will be available on both the Horizon podcast and our YouTube channel. So uh, please subscribe to those if you haven't already. Also, uh, we will have a series of questions. So please ask your questions on Menti uh, while this call is happening and uh, ask any hard questions to the team. So let's kick it off with our first update. And Luca is... uh, is out of the office and uh, Alberto is out of the office as well from the enge- enge- engineering department. So I'll go ahead and just uh, provide the details. So from the uh, engineering department, uh, Alberto had mentioned a uh, few times that uh, we are working on an extended model that describes uh, the security of the sidechain, our sidechain SDK and sidechain solution. So it is going through its final review and we are working uh, with our IOHK partners to have a peer review of our uh, extended, of the Horizon Extended model. So that is ongoing right now. Uh, in regards to the consensus and the stake delegation uh, implementation strategy, that is ongoing. And we've identified the design of the delegation delegation transaction and how the delegated stake pool will be calculated. I will calculate its eligibility and provide the proof if selected. And a lot of details. So the engineering team has has done great progress. And uh, of course, we have uh, minimum mining right now, but we continue making making, um, progress in these terms. In regards to the, the changes to the main chain that are required for the sidechain model, uh, that is continuing and uh, we are now starting the uh, backwards transfer from sidechains to main chain. And this is the hard part that we are, well, everything's hard, but this is the, the, the quite u- unique part because we have to ensure that the previously, previously charged Zen uh, is a uh, return to the main chain uh, th- that has been expended returns to the main chain. So that will be, um, code review will be performed in the first part of January. So uh, excited about that uh, being uh, near development completion. And uh, currently we have our uh, Alberto Sala from our Milan team working on the, the py- Python tests for code review. And we are also uh, doing some work upgrading our block explorers, and that is uh, uh, that is uh, has gone review, and there has been some proposals to uh, to do to do that, and then the next step will be integrating side chains. And also, our engineering team has uh, taken on Sphere by Horizon desktop, and that we were able to reproduce our uh, performance issues that have been reported. And this is from high usage of our of our desktop, so a Sphere by Horizon desktop. So we will be uh, implementing those fixes soon. So I'm excited to have those at the start of the year. And lastly, I'd like to announce that we have hired a new important team uh, member uh, that will be. So we will have our own in-house cryptographer. Uh, his name is uh, Olger. And he is Austrian, and uh, he has a PhD in uh, uh, at Faculty of Mathematics of the University of Vienna. He spent the last six years of uh, in academic uh, in the academic space, uh, working for the University of Vienna. And he's a lecturer of mathematics and cryptographer, and um, he has a lot of uh, PhD and postdoctoral research. Uh, in the cryptographic space. So we are really excited to have him join in February. And that is it from the engineering department. And uh, let's see who is next. Uh, Chronic. Any updates? And Chronic, oops, apologies. So Chronic is also out of the, out of the office, but uh, from the infra- infrastructure team, we are, uh, are also uh, making progress in terms of uh, server migration for our um, 
faucet, and that work is ongoing. So on to the next uh, next department, and let's see, Rocket. Hey everyone, hope everyone had some good holidays these past few days. And to start, uh, we'll start with the help desk and we'll have uh, Spencer bringing that update. Hello everyone, uh, <clears throat> I posted the service desk metrics to the text channel. Most pertinent items from the snapshot from the past seven days are that, as usual, the faucet continues to generate most of the traffic as we deal with uh, various modes for dealing with faucet abuse issues. Uh, one thing that may be of interest to the insider attendees today is that because it's the end of the month, uh, we are uh, posting the 30-day customer satisfaction metric, which remains high at a 4.5 out of a possible 5.0 based on 46 user reviews. And that is, those are the numbers from the service desk as of today. Okay, thanks, Spencer. On the other side, on the Sphere Desktop build, as Rosario mentioned, we have a new build uh, tackling the performance issues we've been testing internally these past few days. And uh, we are also working on the Rosario developer environment that's also ongoing work and also on faucet improvements based the, on our growth sprint that we have with the, the new growth department. And that's all on our side. Happy holidays, everyone. Thank you for that, Gustavo. And let's uh, hand it over to Vano for any BD updates. Hello, everyone. Vano speaking from Georgia. Uh, so no um, public uh, updates for today's uh, Weekly Insider, but I would like to report uh, about stats for our podcast platform, uh, which has uh, seen uh, a steady growth uh, during the last three months. And um, December is not even finished, and uh, we will still have around, I think, two or three episodes in this month. So December uh, will be um, a great month for us, for our podcasts, because we will have, um, like most downloads, and these are unique download chart, which I have posted here. And yeah, that's it from me. Um, happy holidays, everyone. Great. Well, thank you for that, Fano. And uh, marketing. Jonathan or Lucy? Not sure who's speaking Hello? first. Hey, Lucy. Hey, sorry. I was uh, looking for... Looking for the right tab. <laughs> oh well. Um, hello, everyone. Happy holidays, uh, and I hope everyone is uh, uh, enjoying the holidays uh, with your family and friends. So uh, we have quite a few exciting promotions and giveaways coming soon, uh, which is perfect for for the holiday season. So we'll be doing several joint uh, giveaways with some of our partners. Uh, Tomorrow will be a uh, cross promotion we do with our joint, uh, uh, sorry, with our uh, point of sale partner, uh, Now Payments. Now Payments will all, uh, offer $25 in Zen to anyone who bring them uh, a new merchant to uh, uh, accept pr uh, crypto using their payment um, system. So, uh, and then on top of that, the person will also receive 0.2% of every transaction that uh, a merchant make. Uh, makes so uh, this is great if you know any business owners especially the ones that already accept cryptos and then ask them to add uh, now payments to their payment methods uh, and then after that so we will be doing another joint uh, giveaway next week uh, with one of our exchange partners uh, change now so we will be giving away $100 in Zen uh, and we will post more details about this uh, giveaway next week when it starts so make sure that you are uh, that you you know uh, follow us on our social media and uh, uh, check the updates, uh, and then there will be more uh, giveaways and cross promotions coming soon uh, with our other partners after uh, after these two ones. So, like I said, uh, make sure that you are uh, follow us on our social media, uh, and then. Uh, we have made some updates on our uh, official website. One of the updates is our team page. So we have a new design for our team page, which uh, uh, made it much easier uh, to browse, to uh, look for information. Uh, and then it's just a refreshed design as well. So uh, uh, have a look. And then on top of that, we uh, launched a new landing page for our secure, uh, secure note hosting 
uh, guide, um, which gives a very uh, easy to understand, easy to follow, uh, one to three, uh, the step guide for, uh, for our new users to uh, set up quickly, set up a, a secure note. So, um, that's all the updates that I have. Uh, happy holidays. Thank Jonathan, all yours? Oh, thanks, Lucy. Uh, can you hear me okay? Very clearly. Oh, perfect. Okay, awesome. So uh, we had our bonus day on the 25th. Everything went really well. We got a lot of really great feedback. Our next uh, bonus day for the fossil will be the 29th of December. So make sure not to miss that. Um, and we're making a lot of back-end changes to uh, the faucet and some other uh, referral programs that we're working on. So I don't have anything in more detail to talk about this week, but hopefully I'll have some more uh, to share next week. Thanks and have a great holiday and happy new year. Thank you, Jonathan. I think you uh uh, broke uh, just a few half second there. I don't know if it's the same for everyone, uh, but just in case that you missed, um, the next bonus round for Fawcett is uh, the new year. February the 1st. I mean, sorry, yes, uh, uh, January the 1st. Is that correct? The next one is December 29th and then uh -oh. January the 1st. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so Thank more you. fun for everyone. Yay! <laughs> Well, that sounds uh, really exciting. And now we move on to Leo for any updates. Hey, everybody. Uh, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Uh, nothing exciting to report on the legal side. Just trying to wrap up some year-end corporate paperwork. Um, but nothing, uh, nothing otherwise to share. Thanks, everyone. Well, thank you for that, Dean. And now for the last... Uh, few comments uh hand it over to rob thank you rosario okay guys so i am very excited to announce so we'll, we'll wrap up the year i've already mentioned one of these but in total we have three promotions wrapping up the year um so one a big one that you haven't heard about yet is lucy was just promoted to director of marketing jonathan i've already mentioned director of growth and this reflects our our uh, slight reorganization internally of how we're doing business uh, Erica, I want to announce as a uh, promotion to our communications manager. Um, and anyone who follows any of our social media channels from Twitter to Telegram um, to Discord knows and loves Erica. So I'm sure that's a, a very welcome um, bit of news for everyone. Uh, on my end, so I am currently traveling. I'm in Nicaragua right now visiting family. So it's a fun trip. And while here, trying to make productive use of the time and actually meeting up with the CFO of a, a major regional bank in Central America. Uh, so we're continuing to try to push uh, professional relationships to use our sidechain technology. Um, so this is more of an intro meet and greet with some of the bank management. And we'll see if there's something we can do in terms of design partnership or just expanding our reach into Central America. Uh, let's see. So Rosario already mentioned a very exciting announcement in terms of rounding out our engineering team, but want to reiterate how excited we are to have uh, Ulrich join our team as our in-house cryptographer from the University of Vienna. Uh, this is just fantastic news in terms of the, the sophistication of the product that we're building with sidechain technology. Uh, of having someone of this caliber in-house to be able to do this type of base science and translate this into um, cryptographic engineering is, is something that is unique and the team that we have is absolutely uh again extremely unique in, in terms of this industry um so i would i would say there are not that many teams in the industry that could do this level of sophisticated engineering from the ground up especially in the cryptographic domain um so i'm very happy to announce this new addition to our team and our continued uh, judicious expansion of the team uh, at this point i do think that we have a uh, fairly complete team. We still are looking at a few open positions, uh, namely on the DevOps side, and we're always up opportunistic whenever we can come across extremely high caliber engineers. Uh, always happy to entertain expanding the team a bit, but I'm very happy with the current team that we have in terms of size and composition. Uh, so that said, and I've, I mentioned this before, the pace of our deliveries should be increasing uh, compared to what you're used to because we built our current roadmap something like 18 months ago when we came up with uh, just 
the, the base R&D, the, the, our side chain system. And we've taken 18 months to build out the team that has been building the product. Um, our team now is much larger and has a much more heterogeneous and complete skill set than we've ever had. So expect the pace of delivery to increase. Um, Rosario again mentioned this. Uh, it, it, extremely happy for this news, but our sidechain extended model paper is done. At least uh, its first iteration is done, and I've reviewed it. It's an extremely uh, well-written, uh, well-constructed model uh, that was put in terms of mathematical formalism, and you can see how the economics work for the model, how the how the at least the architecture works for the model and what we're actually delivering with our beta. Um, so this this process should be, we, we're hoping, less than a month on the formal peer review. But once it's done with our I, IOHK partners, we will be releasing this to the public. Uh, so stay tuned on that. It is going to be a, a big breakthrough in terms of sidechain technology. Not that the alpha wasn't, but this is one that, that takes it a step further or significant leap forward, I would say. Okay, uh, again, another item that Rosario mentioned, but it shows how we're, we're evolving as an organization. So I love the fact that now we're taking control of Sphere with our in-house engineering team, and we have a composite, we'll call it an interim product team, um, but we still are looking in 2020 to build a more formal product team. But Sphere by Horizon has now been taken in, in-house, and I, I had very high expectations about rapid uh, improvements to known issues, and then going forward, uh, much better management and, and uh, you know, quality for the product. Um, so this is something really happy for now that we have some elements of our engineering team. We have obviously our UX team, Gustavo's group. Uh, we have design team, it, all part of this kind of composite, composite group uh, along with our, um, our own project management team. Um, let's see what else we have here. On the growth side, one thing that shows a, a little hint of where we're going the next year is now we have uh, Jonathan's put together two times per week uh, growth sprint meetings. So every Monday, we talk about what we're going to be working on powering through to completion in this week. And then on every Friday, we get together and talk about uh, how we've done on that. So I personally join these meetings because I think it's such an important part of what we're doing, uh, especially going into 2020 and, and our big drive for major new user acquisition. Uh, so big things on the horizon there. And um, yeah, maybe I'll, I'll leave it there and we'll, we'll leave a little bit for this coming year. We'll, we'll mention uh, in the next weekly insider. But guys, thank you for joining. That's all I have. Do we have any questions that came through on Menti? I know it's a pretty slow week for us. Yes, we do. So the first question is, do you guys ever rest? <laughs> <laughs> well, because of Rosario, no, unfortunately, she doesn't let us. Oh, <laughs> I say that jokingly, but you know, crypto doesn't sleep. So we have to keep keep things going. Even if it's, you know, this is a kind of a, a reduced uh, manning period over the holidays, we're still powering forward. Well, that's how we party. You know, we actually, we're having fun working. So this is not work for us. We don't, exactly. we rest when we work. <laughs> exactly. Okay, the second question is, uh, what will the new uh, uh, cryptographer work on? Mm, so the, the first most important thing is maturing our beta uh, model so that we can get that to market. Uh, and then from beta to production, it's going to be a kind of a, a lot of heavy lifting. So what we're doing, and, and this will be more evident with the, the extended model uh, white paper when that gets released, but we've essentially significantly overhauled what you see in the alpha version of our, our sidechain system. Um, so the, the alpha version, and just to give you a little hand, the, the alpha version is one that uh, we released a white paper uh, some time ago that describes that model, but it's based on an honest majority of, of certificate um, uh, uh, or certifying agents within the system. Our extended model, and I, I don't want to give too much away until we actually release the, the technical paper, but it's one that obviates the need for that honest majority of certifiers. So it's a huge leap forward and uses uh, zero knowledge technolo technology for it. So SNARKs in particular. Um, so that is the number one use of the new cryptographer's time is to mature this. It's something that we're not just reusing other people's technology. We're actually extending technology that exists in the open source domain and, and actually uh, making unique technology for the system to work. 
Thank you, Rob. That's really exciting. So the last question is, how's the balance of 2019? I assume it's asking for balance sheet. I'm not quite sure. Oh, um, what exactly so that means. It's the mental <laughs> balance. How many mental balance, balance do we have left? <laughs> Your life well, and work balance. <laughs> yeah. I'll just make up an answer. I'm, that I'm I, very I, zen. I'll, yeah, exactly. I'll, I'll pretend I understand uh, the intent of the question, but uh, I, I'll talk about the financial health of the organization. So uh, it's no surprise that our treasury is, is based on zen. So we have a fixed amount of zen incoming. Basically, every block that's mined, we get 20% of it goes to a treasury. And that's how we fund the project. Obviously, when the price of Zen collapses, so does our budget. And that's really tough to operate a, a very complex organization building sophisticated stuff and trying to do a lot in terms of new user acquisition and you know maintain this very uh, large community that we have. So, uh, you know, uh, in terms of finances, as of, I believe it was in August, uh, the price of Zen just kind of went off of a cliff. And we've been clawing back since then, but doing actually a very successful job of it. And we've had uh, other partners within the ecosystem like Horizon Labs that have actually shouldered a significant part of that financial burden. Um, So we've been very lucky to have partners that are actually committed with skin in the game to the Horizon ecosystem shoulder that burden during the toughest of times. But fortunately, because that's not sustainable, fortunately, the price of Zen has recovered and so has our treasury or our resources now, we're not at a point where, you know, we're completely out of the, the financial woods yet. Uh, we, we, or at least I can say, or, or around the break even point, uh, which is great, but, you know, realize we've been operating in the red since August. So we're being very conservative on the, the, the Zen blockchain foundation side. So the, the public blockchain side, we're being extremely conservative. And this is why when we talk about, like, for instance, the Ulrich, the, the new in-house cryptographer hire, that's actually on Horizon Labs, and Horizon Labs is, is committing that resource to building Horizon technology. Uh, but on the foundation side, we're actually being extremely conservative and have not been going through uh, the plant hires that we want. So we, we have a whole roadmap that, again, we'll, we'll release publicly, but we have resources that we want to bring on in-house to accomplish this roadmap from the foundation perspective. And we've been extremely conservative about expanding our team um, because we have been just kind of on that, that break-even uh, frontier financially, we, we still need to recover. The price of Zen has to recover in order for us to build some reserves and feel a little bit more comfortable financially before we're willing to expand our spending. So hopefully that answers the question. Anything else? That's it. That's the uh, 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 three top questions of the day. It's just uh, you know really amazing how much we've accomplished with the very limited budget that we have on the foundation side. So. Super bullish. Thank no, I, you, Rob. Yeah. No, thank thank you very much, Lucy and, and everyone. And, and that's an excellent point. I I have no doubt that there will be case studies one day written about the project because we've been operating under such extreme volatility for, for so long, but continuing to make significant advancements in both our technology and just the community that we operate and our growth. Um, so, 2020, if it's any, if 2019 is any indicator of what 2020 will entail, I'm extremely optimistic of where we're going. Um, so, guys, yeah, stay tuned. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us.